Whether it's cars, comics, video games, or violins, there's a little geek in all of us. It's time to give your geek a voice. It's time for Geek Therapy. Here's your host, Johnny Hamburger. Welcome to Geek Therapy Radio. I'm Johnny Hamburger. To my my left here, keep going. Fade. You're supposed to fade it out. Am I done? Yeah. That was a good good bumper. I wanted you to fade it's it my out. My first day in radio. Give me a damn break. <laughs> right. I'm Johnny Hamburger, your mental curator for the evening. Always, I'm still here. But to my left, I have the beautiful, luxurious, and sexy Nathan. I was gonna say your last name, but I'll just say Nate. All right, that's good. And uh, thank you for the compliment. Appreciate having the opportunity. I like I like putting my guests on the spot to get on here. I said, Nathan, I'm not going to do any bumper music this show. I'm just going to have you do the bumper music on the guitar. I'm just going to bump my way to music. And you freaked out. You're like, oh, I don't know what to play. What am I going to play every time? Just just go. Probably something different. Just go, man. Just something different every time is probably what I'm going to do. That's fine. And if it sucks, I'll just replace it. No, I just leave it in. Welcome to Geek Therapy Radio. Nate and I are going to geek out. He's my guest this week. There are two ladies behind us. Nate moved so you can see a lady. There there two go. ladies behind us. Um, Better halves? Monica and Sarah, yes. And uh, they're going to help us out a little bit just by sitting there, maybe. Oh, yes. Nathan, what did you say? You said we can. they can come and geek out about something they, they know stuff well, about. Well, you always you know, have prided yourself on your show about geeking out about whatever it is you, you know, want to geek out about, whether it be cars, electronics, guitars. And so I just kind of made this suggestion. I mean, no chauvinism implied at all, but... But totally. But totally. And I said, hey, the, the, the girls can come on and geek out about tampons. It'd be sweet. <laughs> Sarah quickly put the gabosh on that. Yeah, they shut So us, did Monica. She shut us down on that one. Monica pretty, was just about to leave, actually. Pretty She's fast. Like, I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah, pe- I almost had to Uber home. I'm piecing out of here. Well, speaking of Ubering home, we are having a couple of brewskis. A couple of brews. Let's touch tips. Touch tips. Yep. Play swords. <laughs> cross streams. Yes. All right. So I thought we'd start off, since we're a few minutes into it and haven't talked about anything geeky yet. Um, I just got, I was just given by Santa Sarah, if listeners remember last week, I got a Nintendo Switch. I say finally. Finally. Because it's been, been out a little while. Been out for a year. And actually, you know, when Sarah said... She's like, why don't you just ask for a Switch for Christmas? Maybe Santa will bring it to you. I was like, I don't want to ask for it because it's hard to find and expensive. It's true. But mostly it's hard to find, and I don't want you to be, like, cruising around every store. So she said, Santa Sarah said, <clears throat> that she did cruise to a couple stores. I did? Yeah. In Virginia. In Virginia. And then, and then she get it, and then she bought it online, which I'm surprised she was able to get it online. You know what's funny is uh, when I got mine, I got mine about six or seven months ago, and when I bought mine, I didn't buy mine in Texas either. I thought you said you went up to Conroe. Uh, No, I was actually, I think I was in Oklahoma when I bought it. But did you just like, where'd you get it, GameStop or something? No, I went to Best Buy, and you know what, you're right, I did get it in Conroe. Okay, but that's right, because I remember you were- I drove, I just remember driving a distance that wasn't like 10 minutes from my house. Oh, to yeah. go buy it. Like in Conroe, yeah, exactly. Conroe and Oklahoma. It felt like Oklahoma, damn it, all right? Yeah, it's like an hour and a half from wherever you are. But did you just go on to best, like bestbuy.com or something yeah, and so type in who's I jumped got a online, switch? Yeah, so you know, checked inventories around, saw that they had two units, called to verify they actually had them, and then, you know, jumped in the car with my daughter and hauled ass up there and bought it. You heard it here, folks. Nathan has two units. No, no, I don't. Which is why... Seven months ago. I don't have any units. Don't call me. His units are taken. Both. Both units. Both of Nathan's units are spoken for. Both units are owned by Monica. Yeah. <laughs> are we still talking about Nintendo? Um, I think we derailed a little bit. I think we got off the track. So, one thing I noticed, I didn't really think about this when I got the Switch, um, is there's no Netflix on it yet. There's no, like, YouTube. There's no web browser. Um, and I went off on rail, you know... I went off the rails last week talking about I just assumed they would have Netflix. Right. It doesn't make it It doesn't buddy. make it a bad machine. It doesn't machine. make it a bad machine no, at it all. Doesn't. I still enjoy the crap out of it, but here's the thing. You should still buy one. If you find one, you should still buy one right now, even though it doesn't have Netflix yet. Definitely. Yet. Um, 
you, you kind of talked about Netflix and YouTube a lot uh, more than you touched on the Google Play Store idea because it is based on an Android OS. And here's the thing. Yeah. Somebody who, like me, I travel quite a bit, right? And then I obviously take my Switch when I fly because I want to be entertained and play my games when I'm sitting on the plane. But you know what really annoys me is I can't, you know, download the United app and be able to stream the, the movies that they have via Wi-Fi on the plane. So I don't yeah. have to carry another device just to simply watch you know, the streamable movies because now the airlines are moving towards that, that type of service more than like the, the screens in the back of, your, back of your seat. So that would be another reason why to offer, you know, the Google Play Store to enable customers to be able to download uh, Android-based apps and, uh, and use their systems. I'll, you know, yeah, I'll, I was thinking about having, you know, about the Google Play Store idea. Um, and I'll get to, that, get to that in a second. The Seattle Mariners in the stadium, when you're watching the Mariners play, they used uh, 3DSs mm -hmm. that you could rent or whatever, and you could just sit at your seat and order drinks and stuff with the 3DS. Yeah, so and I think, totally the, I think the Louvre in Paris, Louvre. you know, when you walk around, you can listen to the little right. recorder. They just was like 3DSs. The, uh, just like when you do the Alcatraz tours, you walk around, and they've got the radio. Right, but some but some places were actually using a 3DS. So it would be cool if an airline, you know, got into a partnership with Nintendo well, and said, here's a Switch in every that seat. That would be an even more exclusive thing than just, say, Nintendo going out and being like, all right, we're going to, you know, incorporate Google Play because it's super easy. Okay. And you can download whatever airline app you want or, or whatever. I mean... Right. So about the Google Play, I said I was going to get back to that. And I was thinking about that. You know, obviously... The reason why they're not going to do that is, it's the same reason why because they, they suck. Well, no, it's it would be awesome, I think. But the reason they didn't do that is I think Nintendo was dead set on. Oh, you're playing yeah. your douche flute. I'm hitting the douche flute. All right, so Nintendo wanted to release the system that was only to only play their games because they wanted to establish, I think. True. Here's the games, and they and it was a good it was a good move on their part because I haven't played Breath of the Wild yet, Zelda Breath of oh, the Wild. That's awesome. But it was like game of the year. It's a launch title, and it was already like the number one video game in 2017. So I think that's what Nintendo's doing. They just had how have you Mario not played Odyssey. that game yet? Because I just got a Switch, how, how and I don't have, have a Wii U either. How, how, Tetris instead. how are you going to yeah. have the Switch and already have 10 hours of Rocket League log, but you don't even have <laughs> Zelda yet? I saw your profile. Dude, yeah. Yeah, we can leave that in because it's not me saying it. Hey, my pizza's ready. So, anyways, I want the what tipped me over to get the switch was when Rocket League was announced for it. I was at a house party and I told Sarah, I was like, "Well, I got to get a switch now because Rocket League comes out in November. Like, I have to get it." Also, Street Fighter, uh, I saw that too. Ultra Street Fighter Two. Yeah. It's like, okay, they came out Street Fighter. That was already getting me on board. Oh, they came out with the Rocket League. I was like, I got no choice now. I have to get a Switch because that's Rocket League. But no, I have not played Breath of the Wild. Going back to the point of Google Play Store and why Nintendo didn't have that on the Switch, even though the kernel is based on uh, uh, Android, it's not. Right. I thought it was just a skin over Android. It's not, it's not really. It seems it's, different a little bit when I'm it. It's, playing it it's, ba to PC. it's it's based on Android, like an Android kernel, but it right. is not. Android. It is a proprietary. It's almost. It's like nine. Think about it this way. It's like ninety percent proprietary Nintendo, but it's based on Android. But you can't. You can't uh, root your Switch probably yet. Someone's going to figure out. Someone's going to do it. I can't wait to meet the guy that Bricks is. Yeah. So like, well, there's three hundred dollars right down the tube. Paperweight you got there. So anyways, Nintendo didn't want to put the Google Play Store on it. I bet because they didn't want the competition of all the games and yeah, apps and stuff. It, Nintendo said people, we want to establish our yeah. own stuff first. People would come out with uh, ways to develop games that would undermine the stuff that Nintendo's putting out. So then people wouldn't be buying Nintendo games. Right. They would just be buying the system and then finding ways around having to buy their games. So I get it from a marketing standpoint why they wouldn't do it. But it'd be nice to dream that you know. One hey. soon. I, I think this year. I think have Netflix, Netflix definitely yeah. and YouTube For probably sure. web browser. Uh, a web browser of some sort will definitely come. Uh into the mix for the system at some point, but you know, like like you said, the Google Play thing with this free range of the apps probably never will. You know, maybe. Uh, I don't think it's ever going to happen, but if it did happen, it might be like towards the end of life, end of the life cycle of the Switch in the next five years. I or think something it's going like to last that. a long time. 
to be honest, because of its portability. And uh, if, if it, the biggest, here's my other thing too. Okay, what's your other thing? <clears throat> there hasn't really been a big jump by third party developers into producing games either exclusively for the Switch or porting them over uh, from other consoles. Um, there's been a few, you know, like NBA 2K came Doom. out. Doom, okay. Skyrim. Where's Madden? Okay, that's It'll what get I there. want. Here. I want friggin' Madden. You're right. And it's I right. want to sit on a plane or in a car in traffic when I'm not driving. Yeah. Um, just, just have it on your steering just, wheel. Just so everyone's aware <laughs> and clear. Not while I'm driving. Yeah. Um, and I want to play friggin' Madden with updated rosters and the whole nine yards. And Get I, it? I don't know when. I don't. The whole nine yards of Madden? I, I, I made a pun there on, a, on purpose, people. Football. Unintended. So, but yeah, we'll we'll wrap up this segment. That there's, I want to bring up the uh, third party thing in the beginning of the next segment. Yes, Nathan, that is your cue to softly play something on the mm. guitar. Softly. If you don't know what to do, just do K sequence C. We'll be right back with more Geek Therapy Radio. I'm Johnny Hamburger, joined by Nate, my guest this week, <laughs> playing our bum music out. Uh, Geek Therapy on Geek Therapy Radio on Facebook Geek Therapy Radio on Instagram Geek Therapy, Geek therapy Radio on YouTube YouTube GeekTherapyRadio.com Correct! I'm going to have Sarah do an official official read of all those social medias but we'll be right back more Geek Therapy Radio Johnny and Nate coming back at you in just a couple minutes <laughs> 